Hello, my beautiful souls. It's Joanne and Elizabeth here from World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul. If you are in the twin flame journey and you are just lost and have no idea what to do about your situation with your twin flame, check out our Souls Plan Twin Flame coaching program. We created this with so much love with the intention of guiding you step by step through everything <laughs> that this journey is about to help you ridding the addictive energy, feeling better. And so many beautiful souls have gone all in and worked through this journey. And they've come back to us to share. Not only are they feeling amazing, not only are they working on themselves, but holy smokes, what do I do now? Because my twin flame has come back. Check out the link below. We have a 20% discount. And let's get started, love. Elizabeth got me on the call today. There's this urgent question, or not even a question. It's more of like a message that is always addressed or having to be readdressed from, from people. What is that, love? Yeah, so this is, we see this when the addictive energy is really, really high. And I think at the very beginning, and sometimes it lingers, there's sort of this energy of, I don't care that I'm in a twin flame journey. I just want my person back. I don't care about ascension. I just want my person back. I don't care about feeling good. I just want my person back. What do you say to that, Joanne? What I say to you is this. You are literally doing the exact opposite <laughs> of what you should be doing. Because what you are saying to me is your intent is off. All I want is my person. And I don't care about feeling good. I don't care about working on my soul. I don't care about ascension. I don't care about anything other than my person. And my love, and I say this with love, this isn't isn't about your person. Whether you like it or not, being in this journey as a twin flame, it's a journey about your spiritual journey. It, it's all about being raw and real with yourself, releasing this need for the physical person that is actually, when you get dig and deep on this, what you're really craving and wanting is, is and has always been you. Because your person isn't the body and your person isn't their mind. You're craving your soul. And whether you like it or not, you're ignoring what this journey is all about. This journey is about you and your soul. Your twin flame is your soul. And the more you focus on the physical person, the more you're making the intent about them and the more you're going to push away your twin flame. And there's this undeniable truth where you know, like, okay, yes, I know I'm a twin flame. They are me. I feel it in my core. I can't deny this. If you can confirm that they are your twin flame, then you have to recognize that them being your twin flame is they are your soul. And your soul means you, my love. You are your soul. So for your soul to find you, for, soul, for your soul, which is your twin flame, to come back to you, you have to make it about you. You have to figure out this ascension thing that mind's trying to be away from. Because all you're going to lead to, and I get it, I get it. All you're going to lead to is more suffering and more pain, more obsessiveness and more push. We want to be real. We want to give you love. And we want you to know this is your journey. I know the mind's fighting. I know the mind thinks it can't do it. I know the mind thinks this is stupid and that's okay, right? Like it's so stupid. I remember thinking that when I was sitting down to meditate, like this isn't going to work. What am I doing? I'd even remember meditating and checking my phone. And <laughs> I finally realized I wasn't feeling better. I was feeling like crap. And the more and more I kept doing this meditation thing, and the more and more I was reading all these spiritual books, the more and more it was clicking. The more and more it was making sense. 
the more and more I realize this is deeper and bigger than just him. He is me. This is the ticket out. This is the golden ticket. The golden ticket is me. Me. And so start looking within you. And that's where you'll find your twin flame. Stop looking for them outside of you. That is separation consciousness. The unity consciousness of soul. The unity consciousness of oneness is your soul. It is your twin flame. And my love, it is you. You're ignoring the exact thing <laughs> that will bring your twin flame. So you're actually pushing away the very thing that you desire most. What do you think, love? So I wanted to touch on this and we talked about this in other videos, but I want to reemphasize it because it goes along with what you were saying. When you are in that addictive, obsessive energy and you realize that you're craving, you don't even, you don't even realize, sorry, that you're craving yourself. You're craving the energy of soul. And that's why when you met your person, it wasn't their mind. It wasn't their body. I mean, those might be amazing. I, I, I know those might be amazing, but it really is to the energy of soul that is you. You haven't been aligned with your own soul. So when you first meet your person and they are your soul, you get addicted to that energy. And that's what makes it so intoxicating to be around them. You have been craving you your entire life and you meet you, you meet you in another body, magic, the, oh my gosh, I was meant to be with this person when it's really the energy of yourself you've been searching for the entire time. And that's why your soul woke you up. Your soul is trying to give you what is already within and they just showed it to you in another body, the same soul, your soul brought itself to you so you could wake up mm -hmm. and realize how amazing you are. And when you realize that, wow, the feelings that I felt for my twin flame, the feelings I felt with my twin flame, when you realize that you can experience that for yourself, the more you align with soul you realize you don't need your twin flame. I'm my freaking twin flame. Holy smokes. I feel freaking amazing. I'm high vibing. I'm, I'm vibrating inside out. I'm like in Satori mode. And then here they are. And you just said it yourself, love. Your soul brings you your soul. Your soul brought you your soul because it knew you were ready to wake up. And when you actually wake up to the true soul that you are, your soul will bring and keep bringing you your soul. Oh, so deep. Yeah, so deep. <laughs> so good. <laughs> we love you guys. We hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Love you. Love you guys. Bye.